Hey guys, just give me one second. Uh, give me one second. There you go. Let's see if that's too loud or too quiet. There we go. Let's see, uh, options. Mouse sensitivity, joystick zone, dead, oh, joystick dead zone. Wait, can I have a control on this? Um, mm -hmm. weapons, mouse. Okay, just gonna use this with my keyboard and mouse. I think everything's fine. By the way, this is Cryo State. I have no idea what this game is about. So you're good. You guess as good as mine. I just saw this game. It looks interesting, so I thought I'd play it. My story uh, confirms it isn't sweet or happy. A fictional story uh, is she's okay. Confusion, madness, dreams like the lives of these people who long longer themselves. Okay. Uh, uh. My turn up, I guess. Wait a second, just turn up real quick. <laughs> branches were closely entwined and whose gnarled roots were sunk deep into the mire of the bogs. You missed again. They were a brave people and they would have fought to the death with those who had once defeated them had they not feared being wiped out in the fight. They had their forefathers' behests to defend, and if they perished, their behests would perish with them. So they sat, pondering their fate through the long nights, with the poisonous vapors rising around them, and the forest singing its mournful song. And the shadows of the fires leaped about them in a soundless dance, and it seemed as if it weren't mere shadows dancing, but the evil spirits of forest and bog celebrating their triumph. Mm. 
What? <laughs> Uh, hey, Code. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's a bit too slow. How about that? That's a bit too slow. I. Okay, give me a second. Where's the option button? Okay, so it's super speed in the menu, but in game is beige. Okay. Let's put that there. In. That should be fine. Okay, that's a bit too fast now. Okay, that's a bit better. It's a good thing I have multiple settings on my mouse. <laughs> like, my mouse has what? One, two, three, four. Four settings I can pick from. Mouse sensitivity. Use press the mouse key to open the hatch. Alright. I have no idea what this game is about. <laughs> These are one of the games I was talking about. It looked interesting, so I thought I'd play it. Oh. A yellow light. Like I don't think flash lights was that yellow. Okay. I would guess it's a hollow. I think it is off. Yeah, I think it is a hollow. I think that's a good guess. Oh dear god, it's a hole, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> I don't do so well with hollow. You can hold by shift. Okay. That's you running? Okay, my running button's not working. Oh. How did you die like that? Hopefully the dog is okay. And I somehow walk past this area. Okay. Okay, my spin one is not working. Give me a second. Oh, give me a second. It's been a while since I had to use my keyboard. Get out of the way. Oh, righty. Okay, he got vague doll physics. We're on that ship now.
Okay, how do we keep going past these sections? Uh, battle down? <laughs> Are we looking at our own death here? Okay, what seriously, what is going on? I am really confused with it off the bat. Is that us or not? Okay, that is us. Alexander Nesterov, a junior research assistant at the Pole 21 Polar Station, is due at coordinates 86 degrees 21 north. 74 degrees 57 east on the 27th of March 1981, where he will board the nuclear icebreaker North Wind. Nuclear? Did he just say nuclear? Okay, why is the dog leading to uh, leading me to the ship? I want to go away from the ship, not to the nuclear ship. Worst guide dogs ever. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Stop barking. So, I believe this is me. Oh, that is me sprinting. See, this is me normal. This is me sprinting. Wow, there's not really that much difference. Okay, doggy, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Oh, over this way. Wait, where's that red light coming from? Okay, just one vein of red light. Can we grab that machete? Okay, don't grab the machete. How's that light there? Still got power? Well, I guess because it is nuclear. Nuclear does go for a long time. Can I go through the door? Can I grab any of these? Nope. Alrighty. Well, that's one of the dead guys. Maybe we should have done that engine on. Hey, you okay there? You gonna come back to life and kill me, aren't you? I feel like he's gonna come back to life and kill me. Oh no. How is it going? <laughs> the cans are in place. No sign yet. Sit down. Warm up while it burns. I brought two more crates to dry. 
Wait, wait, wait. Is this game Russian? Sit down. Warm up while it burns. Hang on. I think this game is made, uh, not made, but. Wait, what the hell? Um, you okay there? Oh, yes, Russian accent. Was... I didn't even know this was based on Russia. Or, you know, Russian stereotypes. So wait, I got like about three games that's Russian now, all first-person shooters. That's that's actually an accident. I didn't know. I did not know this is. Oh Jesus! Told you it would come back to life. Can I have a weapon? Wait, what? Yeah, but it's Russian, like, a storyline. Okay, what? Just wasn't always betrayed with the big accent in the media. Yeah. Wait, so did that guy come alive or not? Because the background changed. I have no idea. It's going back and forth. Am I using the chain as a weapon? <laughs> okay, that is kind of badass. I'm using the chain as a weapon. I'm just gonna punch the enemy to death. Yep, this is definitely <laughs> based on Russia. Only a Russian game that you grab a chain and then beat somebody with it. Man, put a shirt on. You're in the winter. Like in the North Pole. And you have no shirt on? Wait, do you have a shirt on? Well, no you don't. Put some shirt on. Seriously, that's why you froze to death. Yeah, I punched you. Mm. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, rush, rush and fighting time. Uh, so I guess heat will be a thing. Yeah, I have to stay warm. Well, that's gonna be interesting. You're gonna turn into another monster, aren't you? Yep. Yep, I know. These guys come out of nowhere. D uh, what do I do now? Should I break these? I don't think I break these. Do I climb up it? Okay, I got no stamina. Hey, you wanna go, Hank? Yeah, punch you. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's giving me combos and everything. Yeah, try to break the metal beams with your fist. Legit. <laughs> Are that metal? I thought that were wood. Honestly, I thought that were more uh, wood. 
So that guy was actually holding up the metal beam then. How strong was that guy? Oh, so they hit the iceberg and then, yeah, got flooded. Okay, this is weird. It seems like the world is changing a bit. Don't forget to keep warm by using the heat source. Okay. Oh, you want to go, eh? Yeah, I'm not afraid of you. That guy was just sleeping in the ground or something. Looks like he was just sleeping in the ice. Alrighty. Hey, how did you die? You can save this man's life by pressing. I can save this guy's life? Through the door and up the stairs, quickly! It won't hold much longer! Okay. But you are unable to change this man's past in order to save him. Please try again. What? How am I supposed to save this guy? Through the door and up the stairs quickly. It won't hold much longer. Okay. Wait, am I controlling this guy? This way, quickly! I'll hold the door! Move it! Come on! You especially saved the dead man's soul and proved yourself a little. You have a dark road ahead of you. Okay. Hang on, is this cryo status sleep for a reason? Maybe. Well, it's just called Cryos Sadus. But probably because it has to do with ice. Okay, this is one of the holes. Oh, there, yeah, that's my guy. Hey, look at that. That's probably why it's Russian. <laughs> Captain, the rod shows formation of sea ice all along our course. The rod, as in the divining rod? Another clairvoyant gadget of yours. Sir, clairvoyance is for shamans. This is cutting-edge scientific equipment, virtually foolproof. Do you know why it is called the rod? Well, yeah, you had it, sir. Named after a divining rod, a stick used to search for water underground was real popular back in the days of wooden ships and navigating under the stars. Times change, but some things remain much the same. The ship must respect you. You must listen to her, understand her, talk to her, live with her one-on-one -on -one for many years. Then you become more than just a captain. You become a part of something bigger. That's great, but isn't it just pretty words? Sir, it seems to me all you've got to do is hold on to the wheel. When are you going to let me try, by the way? You don't waste any time, do you? 
Well, if you're keen, try this for now. <laughs> okay, that was a pretty good voice. Hey, shout out to Ukraine. Oh, I probably butchered that name. Can I go past this? Oh, I can just duck under. Yes, punch a metal door. Uh. Oh, I have to use all three. Oh god, there's six. More than six. How many lashes do you need for this one door? Hey, hey, get me out of that. Oh, you said it great. Oh, there you go. I think the only reason why I said it correctly is because I have a neighbor that's from that place, Ukraine. Yeah, my downstairs neighbor is from that country, like I told you before. Nice old guy. Ugh. Okay, so this game got a bit of charm. Oh, torch. Who, okay, who's lighting that torch up? This... Oh, oh, what's that game called? Remember that game where you're on the planet? And you have to kill enemies, and the enemies drop like these red orbs. And it will heat you up. And if you don't kill enough enemies, or you're too slow, the... And you'll freeze to death. It was on the 360. It's something planet. I'm not sure what it was called. But you go to like different planets and you have to inspire by killing enemies. Because the enemies have like heat sources in the butts. Can I get a pipe? Or just gonna keep rocking the chain? But that's what the game reminds me of that game. Okay, I just straight out just pulled this off for no reason. Wait. <laughs> oh, okay. So now I'm using a vow pipe as a weapon. <laughs> Hey, come back here. What's a dumb beating you? This guy's just badass. He's like, you know what? I'm going to use this chain. No, no, I'm going to use this uh, valve. He's just grabbing anything he can and using it as a weapon. Honestly, I'll just use like pipe that the guy was using before. Yep. 